Is it really possible to be happier? Let's see what the science says. Hi, Michelle here from Shell McQuaid TV, where we're helping you find ways to lower your levels of stress and improve your confidence and zest by putting the latest scientific research to the real world test. Recently, when I was mentoring someone, they asked me a great question. Is it even possible to really raise our levels of happiness? So I thought it was a great time to take a look at what the latest research says. When I was seven years old, I was sure that the answer to this question was, of course. When well-meaning adults would look at me and ask, what do you want to be when you grow up? I'd respond with complete confidence, I want to be happy. To which they'd smirk as only an adult could and wish me all the very best. Well, to be honest, I had no idea how much I was going to need it. It seemed that no matter what I tried, be it career achievement, luxurious pleasures, spiritual enlightenment, or plain old-fashioned love, the happiness just never seemed to last. There always seemed to be just one more thing to do, and then I'd be happy. By the time I was 34, I was ready to give up on the whole idea of trying to improve my happiness as nothing more than a childish dream. But then I stumbled on a whole body of scientific research that changed my mind entirely. Professor Diane Vella Broderick from Melbourne University has recently compiled a summary of what the latest research suggests when it comes to improving our levels of happiness. And her verdict is, drum roll please, trying to improve your level of happiness is a worthy pursuit. Not only is it possible to do, but the benefits are significant, with people who are happier performing better intellectually, physically, emotionally, and socially in nearly all areas of life. The challenge is researchers have found that just like each of us have a built-in body weight range, the same is true of happiness. And while different events in our life may rise us up towards the peak of that range or take us down towards the bottom, it seems that over time most of us tend to return to the baseline with which we started. The good news is, just like eating well and exercising can help you maintain your optimal body weight, it seems the same is also true of happiness. By choosing to invest your energy and your effort into a range of well-being activities, it seems it's possible to live towards the top of your happiness set point range more often than not. The trick is finding the tested, practical well-being activities that work best for you, that are going to suit your motivations, your values and your resources, particularly your time, so that these are things you want to do and that you're able to stick with. So where do you start? Well, the first step is to figure out how your well-being's faring. One of the ways you can do this is head on over to michellemcquade.com and take the free well-being survey. It'll help you identify areas of your well-being you might want to focus on and give you a range of practical, tested ways that you can go about improving it. Secondly, as you start the activities, try to start small rather than biting off too much all at once. It's much better to begin with some small changes that you're able to succeed at so that you can build up your confidence and begin introducing bigger changes over time. Finally, just like eating one piece of broccoli doesn't make you healthy, doing one well-being exercise isn't suddenly going to make you happy. So you need to find a way to measure your progress and to get some social support from people in your life who can help encourage you towards some of the changes that you're making. And if you'd like an immediate boost to your happiness right now, then perform a random act of kindness and share this video with your family and friends. And if you'd like to discover more about what science is finding when it comes to lowering your levels of stress and improving your confidence and zest, then be sure to subscribe, or head on over to michellemcquade.com and leave your name and email so you can hear it all first. Thank you so much for watching Shell McQuaid TV. Remember, you are good enough, so don't be afraid to let your light shine. Take care. Seriously, they used to snort. <laughs> <laughs> Who'd want to be happy? What a ridiculous plan when you grow up to want to be happy. I mean, really. What was I thinking?